All right, question. Does your organization have the ability or the facility to communicate visually, handling the hurdles of mobility diligently, virtually, and physically? If not, then please look at me. First, so you look at me later. But right now, pay attention to my special guest. All right, stay tuned. Well, good afternoon. Thank you for the opportunity to talk to you a little bit more today about Cisco's collaboration uh, portfolio and some of the, the benefits that we see of of our solutions in the market. My name is Adam Alling. I'm a distinguished systems engineer. No, not really. I'm an aspiring distinguished systems engineer, and uh, I'm very passionate about collaboration. It is becoming more and more a part of everything we do. So I would say, you know, the the one of the real strong benefits and the strong points of Cisco collaboration and, and specifically video like we're talking about today is the breadth of the offer. We'll scale anywhere from a desktop PC um, all the way up to the boardroom and anything in between. You know, historically, when Cisco got into this market, we started off at sort of the higher end of the market, the boardroom type setting, which quite candidly didn't, didn't allow us to push it down into the marketplace. Through acquisitions of companies like Tamburg, as well as a lot of internal R&D, we've been able to come out with solutions that will start as low as $1,000 and give you the option to do video now on your iPad, on your iPhone, any device. And really heterogeneous, I guess, compatibility with devices is a core tenant of the strategy because that now allows you to go down and on the road. You know, Brandon and I are both very much... Uh, on the road constantly, and we can't always lug a, a large EX90 or MX system or some of the newer uh, office-based or room-based systems along with us. So this portfolio of different options really allows video to become very much part of our daily uh, daily job and the way we interact with, with each other and our customers and partners. Yeah, and as, as much as it's a part of our you know daily lives as salespeople, we're seeing our actual customers integrate this into their business as well. Um, the technology for video is uh, coming down from a price perspective for a, a while now, so it's more affordable to put video uh, into the SMB markets and the commercial markets that we serve. So um, video for everyone and making it consumable across all of these different devices is something that we're seeing day in and day out. Day out. Yeah, yeah, it's a good point. You know, another thing that it's not necessarily highlighted here, somewhat of a new announcement, is now our, our WebEx uh, meeting room service. Historically, the, the the requirement for multiple sites beyond point to point has been infrastructure, which is a capital expense as well as an operating expense to power and cool and manage and patch and all the things that go along with, with infrastructure. Now WebEx has come out with a very strategic offer, I believe, particularly for this commercial marketplace, to now give customers, just like they can use the utility of WebEx, can now extend that to video. And I believe this is going to be uh, a very important part of our strategy going forward. So, And with that, I think uh, we'll wrap it up, Adam. I appreciate uh, the time and the overview. And um, thank you guys for joining. You guys ready for some demonstration? All right, let me introduce to you my friend, Brian Hobbs from the EBC. He's helping me out on this next segment. This side. And Brian, uh, I believe you're in a speaker track system, right? That's correct. How's it going, Brandon? I'm here over a uh, Speaker Track 60 a dual camera unit, and it's actually using facial detection and audio detection to pick up on the active speaker. And I hear it, I'm here in the room by myself, but if there was another individual, they would actually pick up on this second person sitting next to me. Right now, I'll just remain the active speaker, but I can demonstrate for you how this works. I'm actually going to go over to my whiteboard, and you'll notice that the camera will go into kind of an overview shot and then focus back on me here at the whiteboard as I continue to speak. And so that's what it's doing right now, and you'll be able to focus in on myself and the content that I'm sharing there on the whiteboard if you happen to see that. And yeah. I can go sit back down, and that camera will pick back up on me. Yeah, very cool. It was a shot that kind of, just like you said, an overview shot, and then it zoomed right back into you uh, right there on the whiteboard so that we could see the content that you were working on there. Exactly. And right now it's in a dynamic overview shot because you were speaking. As soon as I come back to the table, it goes back into that 
overview shot. It'll focus back on me as I continue to speak here in the actual speaker track 60 room. And uh, I'll pass it back over to you and your end so you can see the dynamic overview. Uh, the fact that it's all dynamic and that the customer doesn't have to worry about uh, who's got the remote control, uh, figuring out which camera out of the two camera cluster needs to be uh, programmed in order to move with the person as they go back and forth. That's a super uh, handy way to, uh, to run a meeting, especially at scale with more than one person in the room. Absolutely. And if you had any content that you were sharing, I could actually use my intelligent proximity application on my iPhone to view that content directly on my mobile device. Do you have anything to share? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and share a slide that I've got here connected to uh, my laptop locally. Okay. Go ahead and do that. Let me know uh, on your side if you can see that. Absolutely. So your strategy for selling intelligent video uh, collaboration. And I will go ahead and launch the proximity app here in the speaker track room. And of course, there's a newer version. So it wants me to install the update, but we can do that later. I actually can see your content here over my mobile device. If you had awesome. multiple slides, I'd be able to see that and go backwards and forwards with it. Yeah. So, you know, the entire story and kind of call to action and message for what we're doing here uh, in the video collaboration at Cisco is we want video to be as easy as voice. Uh, as you can see, it's accessible on big rooms. We've got the MX700 going, the speaker track 60 on Brian's side. I've got the PC here. Uh, I've got an iPad mini and then Brian's got the iPhone. So any form factor, we kind of got it covered. So that's the accessible on every pane of glass. And then the whole better than being there message is all around, you know, saving on travel costs, saving on uh, just the hassle of meeting setup. All of that stuff is kind of taken out of the way and the technology is uh, supporting what we're doing and what our business requirements are as opposed to us having to worry about our business and worry about the burden of uh, bringing the technology up. So. needs more capability apps gotta have room for scalability and you need presence and redundancy disaster recovery security and wireless mobility decreased carbon footprint and power efficiency all of this performs your business's agility and it gives the it department tranquility and it's all brought by the human network cisco it's your remedy beef and this piece is done as a tribute to this piece Y'all remember the Cisco Cs? So to it, we say, rest in peace. Now we've got the DX650. Screen. This is a Android-based tablet and phone and instant messaging combo from Cisco. All of this functionality is brought to you via the Unified Communications Manager. Um, we go to our home screen really fast. You'll see that we've got a few different options. We've got call got contacts and we've got meetings there. For my contacts, I can actually go into my company's Active Directory structure, and kind of pull down uh, names and as you see, uh, photos of different employees that I can call. So since this is an actual Android based tablet, we've got to you know, allow you to get all of the native Android applications. So you see I've got my Google Maps there, I've got my Gmail and my Drive as well. I'm going to swipe over. See, we've got uh, my WebEx tool that's there as well. Oh, okay, let's go back to our home screen and tap the meetings. This is pulling down actually some really cool information from our Outlook. We can see our calendar, uh, what's happening for a specific day, what meetings I have, and so forth. So that's it. I actually hope you really, really enjoyed that like to take a moment to thank a couple of people, uh, Adam Alling, Brian Hobbs, Pat Jensen, all the people who helped me uh, edit and record the videos and set it up and plan it. The uh, Silicon Valley Territory commercial team, hats off to you guys for uh, going to bat for collab and video day in and day out. This is your uh, friendly neighborhood SC, Brandon Middleton, signing off. Hope everybody enjoyed, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Uh, human Network, check. B. Middleton, uh, check. Nice track, uh, check.
Huh. I think we're ready then. Ooh. With Cisco, it used to take days, takes hours. Sitting in my living room, eating clam chowder. Yep, yep. Playing with this flip mino, configuring routers. I'm glad you tuned in. Turn your speakers up louder. A nerd on a mission, I'm here fighting them powers. Busy turning the heads of the skeptics and the doubters. After that, WebEx my mama and show her how to Help me save the world in 24 like Jack Bauer We are trying to change the way you live and you work I am thinking telepresence for my school and my uh, church yeah. Increase the net worth of the human network Over the earth, catalyst for change is on alert yes, I upload the good news and it's the cure for the curse Tell Five minutes later, YouTube is going berserk We're trending on Twitter and we're showing up first As the networking leader on your internet search Got a good idea.